Hello, I'm going to show you how to apply your jamberries. All you need are manicure scissors, a cuticle pusher or an orange stick, a nail file, rubbing alcohol, and a heated source. I am using the jamberry uh, heater. I also use an ice pack, you'll see why later, and a Ziploc bag. Crazy, I know, but you'll see. So. Stay with me and you will see how to apply your jams. First, you want to push back any cuticle that you have on your nail. And to do so, you can take a cuticle pusher, one that looks like this, and push back. Or you can take one that looks like this and also push it back. Um, a lot of people don't realize that they have something called an invisible cuticle, but once you start um, pushing back, you'll see it. I actually cleaned mine uh, when I was taking off my jams before, so I really don't have much. You can see I have a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. I have a little bit right there. Just going to push that back. You just, you want to clear that because if you don't have it all clear, the jam berries are not going to stay. Your next step is to take some rubbing alcohol and a cotton ball or a cotton swab and put it on and you are going to clean your nails from the oils because all of your nail your nail has natural oils and as you saw me take off the jamberries with oil you don't want the jamberries to have too much oil on your nail because then it's not going to stick so I'm just cleaning off the oil if you're doing this on little girls um, Little girls' nails are very oily, so I when I do it on my niece, um, I use Dawn dish detergent first and then a little bit of rubbing alcohol so that the jam berries stick better on her because little kids' nails are naturally more oily than ours. So I think they're all clear. Your next step is to try and find ones that match. I've been doing this for a while, so I know that my thumb is going to be this one. But the easiest way is to take your wraps and put your finger underneath. Now this looks like it would be a good fit, but you don't want any of the wrap to touch your nail. So I always go with a little bit smaller um, than what really, really totally touches my skin. So that there's that little bit of space. Once you find the wrap that fits, you gently and carefully peel it up a little bit. I'm, as you notice, I'm using the back of this cuticle pusher. You can use the back of um, an orange stick. So here's the one that fits me. I'm going to carefully pull it up. I don't know if you can see. And you don't want to touch the sticky part, the adhesive part, because you don't want to get any of the oil from your fingers on to the stickiness. And then you're going to cut half of it. You're not going to use the whole wrap because the other part is for your other finger. So here I have it. Let me turn my heater on. And the official um, application tells you to heat first, then apply. But I like to apply and then heat. So I'm going to try and get this as close as I can so you can see. So I put it on. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. And then I'm going, oh, but look. It's not perfect, so I'm, this is why I use the, warm, the, the cooler application. And I'm going to carefully push it once I've decided I like the placement of it. And now I'm going to heat it. One, two, three, four, five. And then you, you just push down. because it's heat and pressure activated. Um, you can also use this soft cuticle pusher and push to get a better 
seal because you want it to seal. I put just some more heat. You don't want to put too much heat because you don't want to burn yourself. And now here's where I use the baggie. So I take the baggie. This is just so that I know that everything gets heated and it kind of like seals it. I put the baggie around my finger like this, put it up towards the heat for three seconds. I push down a little bit more. And you're supposed to wait until the wrap is cool. Um, before you file, but I don't like to wait, so this is why I have the um, the ice pack, so I kind of speed up the process. I cool it for a little bit until the I feel that the wrap is hard enough for me to file. You don't want to file it when it's warm because it's still pliable and it can shrink, and then your nail is going to show too much and you really don't want that. So I think that's cold enough. So now I'm going to take my nail file and I'm going to file it going down. You don't want to go up and down, just down at a 90 degree angle. So it's straight. You want to make sure you get the, the edges. And I don't know if you can see, but it comes right off. Now part this edge didn't come off neatly, so I'm just going to file it until it's off. And there we go. You've got that. And now I'm going to apply some more heat to seal it again to make sure the, the new edge is sealed. And I'm going to take my cuticle pusher and just push around the edges. So everything is sealed. And there you have it. There's one.